Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick trip, trick here. <clears throat> I was in the main yard yesterday and found I had one of my hives that swarmed. And I wanted to share with you my recipe for making lemonade out of a swarmed hive. What I like to do is make a pushing cage out of um, some number 8 hardware cloth and cage the capped queen cells. That way the virgin emer emerges in the cage is cared for by the hive and I can go in and I can pull her out from the cage at my leisure and throw her in one of our mini nukes. So what we've got here is we've got a three and a half by two and a half inch piece of number eight hardware cloth and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in we're gonna count five six wires this way one two three four five six and then we're gonna snip one two three four Five wires. Same over here. One, two, three, four. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Flip it around. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five. From there, we're going to fold our longer sides up. We can then fold the ends up. and fold the tabs in. Now, I've got a handy little cage. I can go set in the hive, push around those queen cells into the comb, and save me some queens that would otherwise be going to waste. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Smoker always goes out when you turn on the camera. Did you notice that? Yeah. Works just fine. You can tell. Everyone judges you. All right. There we are. So this is one of our frames with some swarm cells on them. Nice frame of brood. So we can see them. Uh, hey, in the way, kiddo. Right there. So, cap cell there, cap cell there. there's some on the back side of that frame. Oh, I'll just take our handy dandy pushing cage, push it right into the comb there. Do you need some more smoke or you good? I'm good. We got one we can cage up. That's right. I'm just going to sacrifice the one above it. Did you catch the queen? Nope, she left. I'm just going to cage that one up right there. I love going out to the You're on camera. Alright, so this is cell builder number one. I want to talk to you guys really quick about this. This was overwintered as a double nucleus colony. Four frames on either side, divider down the middle, and then it had two nuke boxes over the top often known as you know a Michael Palmer system. So what we've done is we moved all the brood up, we put a queen excluder, and we shook all the bees off of it so the queens are below with plenty of fresh open comb, all the broods up top in a shared brood nest. So we're running this as a two queen hive which allows them to share resources, not just share heat. And these things grow really fast. But what this one's being used for is this one's being used as a cell builder right now. What we got going on in the top box here is we've got a bar of graphs. This one? Nope, I got it. Thank you. Uh, we have a feeder over here because uh, you want to keep a cell builder fed. But these were started in a queenless colony and then they were moved here above the queen excluder. 
we got about 25 cells here that are two days old. These are the 48 hour cells you hear me talk about a lot. I can take these and I can pop these into any hive that's queenless and they'll finish the job and they'll rear, rear the cells. Um, but we're going to leave them in here for another eight days and then we're going to come back and collect them and we're going to cage them. Oh yeah, look at that. Plenty of royal jelly in those cells. And these All right. like them a lot. Oh yeah, they're working it. That shows the queen. So this, this system gives you options. If I lose a queen on one side or another, I still got a queen. I can pull the divider, I can take out the queen excluder, and I can run it as a uh, single queen hive until I have a cell. And then I'll close off one of the compartments and place the cell, let that queen hatch out and bait out, and then I'll get it going again.